Yo, B Quanchi here, back at again doing a tier maker list video, this time focused on ice cream flavors. So, something a little bit more general, but I thought this would be a fun idea for a tier maker video, uh, whatever. I haven't been getting in the habit of making my own tier list, um, whatever you want to call this, tier list pages or all that, because I feel like it's very hit and miss when, like, oh, I'm going to do a tier list about this, and you kind of look on the website. I know there's probably a bunch of different ones out there, but I never find quite what I make, so I took the time to actually make these. I even put little um, names of the flavors too to make it a little bit more obvious. I am going to put a list in the description of this video, so if you want to do the same tier list, uh, all good for you. So go ahead and do that, um, or change it up. Um, and let me know in the comments as well if you want me to do a tier maker list for anything specific or anything different. Just give me some ideas whether it be fun for me to do or if someone just wants something convenient I don't mind making these pages if it's worthwhile for me like if it's stuff that I, I care about and since it's ice cream and I like my foods I like my cream I like my sugary sweets this is definitely up my alley so I did take the time to make this list and let's get started so we're gonna start off with some of the basic flavors I, I just did 20 flavors and then like crazy flavors or brands or stuff like that and this week i might like talk about some brands of stuff like that too when it comes to certain flavors but let's start off with chocolate ice cream hmm. chocolate's my favorite um <laughs> in terms of the chocolate and, and candies and sweets so i'm giving an a even though i feel like just chocolate ice cream is kind of plain but it's a good classic, like if you just want something good in chocolate. Usually I'll put a good uh, chocolate drizzle with it. And yeah, so not my favorite. It does make a good base for a lot of good flavors and all that. Um, but yeah, I feel like it deserves to be an A. And then vanilla. I, don't, I feel like a lot of people uh, narc on, or why do you want to kind of like narc, but... Uh, uh, poke fun or this like I, I'm, I'm not lost at words but I got people's like oh vanilla's all not great or whatever but I think it's good base um, a lot of times as a kid I'll get like scoops of vanilla ice cream and but I always have chocolate syrup like I rarely unless it's like a cone um, I rarely eat vanilla ice cream by itself so you put little sprinkles of jammies whipped cream whatever it makes a really good base uh, it's a classic, but I'm gonna have to give it a B. Um, also, I don't know what the hell is with it with some ice cream flavors. Again, I'm not gonna go too much into brands, but I think Blue Bell's kind of like guilty of it. Would have like, oh, it's vanilla. Oh, and they have French vanilla, and they have vanilla bean, and home style vanilla. I don't know. Like some brands of ice cream just have like five or six different styles of just vanilla, which I don't get. It's a good staple. I feel like it's good for milkshakes too, like I used to do that a lot with vanilla ice cream and chocolate syrup and milk. But I always tend to go towards chocolate ice cream. It, it, it just depends, like if you have like strawberry syrup, syrup and want to make a, a strawberry uh, milkshake, that's fine. But I feel like having the flavor of ice cream match the ch type of milkshake you're making. Um, so it's, it, it's a good staple. I think it's sometimes underrated and... Like, oh, this is plain vanilla. Like, oh, you're vanilla. That's just, like, whatever, boring. But, no, it's a good basis. Like, especially with a good ice cream sundae. I tend to go, you may, oh, if you make a good sundae with, like, a scoop of vanilla, scoop of chocolate. I like a good banana split. And the next one we have, kind of going to the banana split, is strawberry. So, I'm going to give it an A. I think, and again, this might be spoiling uh, the rest of this video, the rest of this tier list, is I feel like strawberry is one of my favorite fruity flavors when it comes to uh, ice cream. But I, I like a good chocolate drizzle on it, too. So do chocolate drizzle over strawberry. Mm, good stuff. So, uh, yeah, a good classic. Um, I don't think I eat it too often by itself, but it is uh, a really good classic flavor up there. And next we have mint chocolate chip. Mm. This one I have kind of mixed flavors for because you got your chocolate and mint and chocolate is good. Like 
you doesn't like like thin mints, cookies, or York's peppermint patty, all that. But even with the chocolate drizzle, like that's gonna be like a repeated thing. In this video is talking about giving a good chocolate drizzle to your ice cream, but I feel like C is where it belongs for me. I just like some people swear by it. I know it's a favorite for a lot of people, but for me. It's okay, like, it's good when you want something a little bit different, it's good to have, but I feel like it's not, definitely wouldn't be my go-to. It definitely would never be a first choice for me, but I'll eat it if it's there, so. Uh, yeah, I, I feel a little bad putting it in the middle, but uh, that, that that was my instinct, so. C for mint chocolate chip. So next, butter pecan, and I think I really don't like nuts, at least edible nuts. So I don't like pecans, so this will have to be an F. I feel like I don't know if many people really like butter pecan. I think it's just a small minority, so I don't think too many people will be offended for putting butter pecan in F. But I just don't like the nuts in ice cream. I know sometimes the uh, ice cream kind of drowns it out and softens it, but I just like the hard nutty stuff when it comes to ice cream. I don't want people to be nutting in my ice cream, okay? Just the ice cream. The next chocolate chip cookie dough, that's definitely a one of my favorites. Um, I think I think Food Theory did a uh, video about like the cookie dough and chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. I don't think it's like raw cookie dough, like you can eat it just fine. Because now people's like, oh, you're not supposed to eat cookie dough, like it's not good for you. Make sure to bake it, and I think because it contains eggs or raw eggs and stuff like that. Um, I think that, or maybe I saw like a picture on Facebook or something like trying to use the uh, fish out all the cookie dough from cookie dough ice cream and try to actually bake a cookie and it just doesn't really make a cookie or anything good or maybe technically a cookie but basically the cookie dough and chocolate chip cookie dough is not the same as like a real cookie dough but definitely my favorite going back to one of my go-to's when it comes to ice cream give it a good chocolate drizzle give it some warp cream you have a great dessert, so that'd be a good one. Next, cookies and cream. This is a really good one. I do like the milkshakes, like the Oreo, because it's pretty much like the Oreo. It says cookies and cream, but it's like Oreo ice cream because it's like the chocolate cookie and cream. I'm going to give it a B. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's a good spot for it, so... I really enjoy it, but not as good as chocolate chip cookie dough. And again, <laughs> have I to mention again? These are just like uh, pictures of ice cream, so it's not like a brand video. This is not sponsored in any way, so even though I might like drop a name, drop a brand. One of my favorite ice creams out there is uh, Blue Bell. They have one called Cookies Two, two Step, where they have the chocolate chip cookie dough and cookies and cream ice cream. That is like a, that's we S tier, that'd be like God tier, whatever. Um, so I think the combination of cookies and cream and chocolate and cookie dough is perfection when it comes to ice cream. And I think Blue Bell's the only brand I've seen actually do that. But yeah, cookies and cream is a pretty good one. Um, but I think it deserves the B spot. So next we have pistachio. Okay, and, and nut ice cream and I don't I never really like pistachios as well again I don't like nuts so this will have to go to F I feel like either people love it or hate it and I hate it when it comes to pistachio so it gets the F spot next we have Neapolitan and this is gonna be a weird ranking for me because my instinct is put it as a C you know, it has chocolate. I love chocolate. It has strawberry. I love strawberry. It has vanilla. Vanilla is pretty good too. I mean, it always feels weird to have it mixed together. Not that like, oh, I can't have different uh, foods touch, but it feels like I don't want all three at once. Like I'd rather get strawberry if I want strawberry, chocolate if I want chocolate. So I don't know. It maybe not giving it a fair chance, but the Neapolitan. It's a C. I rarely grab this one. Like I rather just grab chocolate. Or I rather just grab strawberry and instead of getting uh, the mixed one. I try to think what cartoon did it where um, 
if it's an episode of Simpson and like they had like boxes of Neapolitan but all the chocolate was gone so we just ate the chocolate besides the other flavors I think that's what it comes with Neapolitan I'll just eat one of the flavors but I don't know it could be a good mix but it's definitely not my go to so you know that we'll get a C next we have birthday cake and I give this an A I really love birthday cake um especially I think maybe different brands have different ways of making it like it's cake batter or it, it's cake bits or it's um icing so I, I, I kind of like the blue one uh just to add the fun colors in it in the sprinkles so uh I think not all but the cake ice creams are created equal but if they have like the cake batter maybe even the cake bits but they have, if they have the frosting mixed in and the sprinkles and going back chocolate drizzle that shit put chocolate drizzle maybe a little extra warm cream that is a good ice cream sundae have it every birthday everyone come everyone give me presents that's my advice have birthday cake ice cream for your birthday parties do it all out sunday bar you'll be the most uh, popular girl in school i guarantee it and next we have moose tracks so i think there's different ways to go about it depending on the brand say so, um i think blue bunny calls it bunny tracks but basically this ice cream is vanilla with um fudge mix in and like candy usually like chocolate chunks sometimes like chocolate peanut butter cups i've seen different styles um one of my generic store brands makes like different version of it like they do, oh it's a brownie version of it or they do caramel with it or they do um, chocolate ice cream instead of vanilla ice cream this one i always love it so i'll give it an a and i know there's different versions of it um I think I like the ones with the chocolate peanut butter cups bits the most, but they have like a good fudge ripple in it. Or what do you want to call it? So um, that's a really good one. So A, different style can put a little extra chocolate drizzle on that shit. You got some, some top A ice cream. The next we have Rocky Road. And this one, because of the walnuts, I believe all Rocky Roads have uh, walnuts, but it has like, I forget what's in there. I know there's marshmallows as well, maybe chocolate chunks, but the walnuts, that's going to do it for me to bring it down to an F. I know that's a classic. I think this is a Weird Al song based on Rocky Road. Like, I want, it's, I, it's I love Rocky Road. It's, I love Rocky uh, Rock and Roll. I, thought, right, that, I think they even sang that in the Weird Al uh, biopic movie that he did for Roku TV, which is pretty good. I recommend that. Um, Rocky Road ice cream I do not recommend it's not a favorite unfortunately so mm, it gets an F next we have coffee and this will be my D for this video so I do like coffee I don't know some of these co coffee ice cream just seems kind of weird I know sometimes it hits a spot if you're in the mood for it um I almost feel like it makes it good like if you want to have like a frappuccino or like a, a, a an iced coffee br a blended beverage <laughs> say that 10 times fast it has been a good base for that so if you want to do like a coffee milkshake um whatever frappuccino it's a good base but mm, i don't know i want to eat that ice cream very regularly and it does exist but it's like uh, not the worst but i rarely touch the coffee ice cream so it gets a d next strawberry shortcake i love this one so it goes into a i also see like some variations sometimes some in times like sometimes i even see the lemon cheesecake ice cream even uh blueberry well, like during the seasons i think ben and jerry's has a pumpkin cheesecake i'm not sure if they still do that one during the fall i really like it especially if you get good bits of cheesecake so cheesecake an excellent dessert mash it together with some ice cream with uh strawberry and then going back the chocolate drizzle uh makes it even better so i think this is kind of more for generally uh cheesecake ice cream but mostly you see strawberry i think that's the most common one you see so strawberry cheesecake ice cream a list and then rum raisin mm. Not to say, oh, it has raisins, so it's bad. Like, raisins can't, aren't too bad. Like, chocolate-covered raisins, uh, yogurt-covered raisins, 
raisin cookies. Okay, I like chocolate chip and raisin cookies are good, but I feel bad. But I never go to the ice. I, I would never really touch from raisin. So I'm gonna give it an F. Not to, just because it has raisins in it, but I rarely touch it. And uh uh. -uh. It kind of reminds me of like, well, the, the Rick and Morty bit uh, with Jerry and God, what's the wife's name? The mom on uh, Rick and Morty. Uh, when they were like uh, going out for ice cream and they get pulled over and like you have to say you're driving. It's um, eating rum raisin because it went to Cold Stone and all that. Um, but yeah, rum raisin will get an F. The next bubblegum. And this one is kind of conflicting too because as a kid... You're like, oh, I'll get the bubblegum flavor. That way I get to uh, eat the bubblegum. Oh, not eat the bubblegum, but have bubblegum too. That's what's the swallow bubblegum. Uh, but I feel like it's not as good. I'm not even sure what the ice cream is supposed to be. Like, it's just like fruity flavor and all that. And they put gumballs in it. And even the gumball itself, usually like the gum it loses its flavor in like half a minute or whatever. So it's not even good gum that they put into it. So it's not the worst but I will probably never ever get another scoop of bubblegum ice cream in my life for the rest of my life. So I give it a D. Like, I don't think technically it's the worst, um, but I'd rather get something else. And the bubblegum it, now is kind of more of a distraction or just like, oh, I can chew this bubblegum that's going to lose flavor in an instant. So why even bother with it? So just because it's not the worst ice cream, it's, it's going to get a D. Next, we got Rainbow Sherbert. So again, I, I said I made this tier list myself. I know there's a bunch of different flavors of Sherbert, but instead of like bloating the list with like every fruit flavor out there, I just put Rainbow Sherbert. And it's one of those things, like if I get Sherbert, might as well get Rainbow Sherbert. Like sometimes you want lime, sometimes you want strawberry Sherbert or orange Sherbert, but Rainbow Sherbert's a really good go-to. I feel like sherbet is a little bit less fat than regular ice cream, so it has that, even though, like, hey, it's sugary, whatever. Oh, didn't mean for that. But it's going to go into B. Like, I feel like sherbet is a really good uh, alternative to just eating ice cream. So we'll put rainbow sherbet in a respectable B. Next, we have Butterfinger. And I know there's different ways to call it. I know that's a candy name. Some call it, like, Butter crunch or something, but it's Butterfinger ice cream, so they have like the crunchy bits of uh, Butterfinger and chocolate. A really good one. I'm debating. Uh, it's a B or A for me, and no, I'll give it an A. I think I obviously I love it like it enough to give it an A. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's just, maybe it says a little bit about me uh, ranking so many flavors in A, but a good Butterfinger is a good one. And, and going back to Chocolate Drizzle, it makes it even better. So, yeah, I, I, I feel good putting that in the A. Next, we have Cherry. Uh, trying to think, it's just like the Cherry Garcia with uh, which about, uh, Ben and Jerry's, is just cherry ice cream. Maybe they add something to it, I forget. I, Sometimes I just don't eat too much Ben & Jerry's because I feel like, oh, it's a small pine for how much you're paying for it. But cherry ice cream, I'm a little conflicted on this because I cherry's one of my favorite flavors. Like, I especially love cherry cola, like cherry Pepsi, cherry Dr. Pepper. But I don't like, I don't know, as a fruit, cherries are okay. <sighs> Unfortunately, I'm going to give this a D. Kind of from even thinking out, out loud, it's... I don't know, because I, I really like strawberry, cherries are really good, but cherry ice cream just doesn't do it for me. Um, yeah, I think that feels right. I feel bad because I love cherries in the flavor, but cherry ice cream, eh, it's a meh. And last, matcha or green tea. And I, don't, I feel like these are one of these flavors that you love it or hate it because I actually tried... I said green tea. I tried something matcha flavored. Uh, I think it was like a drink from Starbucks, and I didn't care for it. So, not that I really had much of matcha ice cream, but I'm gonna give it a D. That might be controversial. I don't know, but 
I'm not really, really big on the green tea matcha flavor when it comes to like drink or ice cream or beverages and all that. So yeah, I think this will do it for the tier maker list. I really think it's a good choice. I think I have decent taste, although some of these may not be agreeable with others. So let me know in the comments below, like some of your favorite ice creams. Uh, again, if you do want to make a tier list of this exact one, I'll have a link for it in the description of the video. All for good fun and all that. So, uh, yeah, again, this is a simple, like, 20 flavors. Um, it's a lot more I could have done, but I feel like this is a good, like, nothing too bloated or too crazy. A lot of the basic standard flavors in here for ice cream, but... Anyway, so to wrap things up, again, the best way to support me and the channel is to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow, watch, uh, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch are the big three main social media. Be quantity all around. You can find links in the description of the videos or about the channel. Besides, I do a lot of gaming stuff like uh, streaming and all that too. But yep, yeah, that'll do it for today's video. So y'all take care and have a good rest of your day. Bye.